Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm over here in our shop, and it is a mess. It's crazy because we got we got new machines coming in. We got new technology. We got a lot of things happening. There's things over here I can't even show you, but there's future videos coming, and you're gonna be like, so so let me take you on a little tour and give you some status on where we're at with our new shop upgrades and all that all right so we're gonna start over here we got our we got nicole what's up nicole hey, what's up? making it happen a lot of you guys know on on our titans of cnc academy like the kids and the tour mock the videos and stuff the tutorials you guys can learn the trade from nicole That's make right. it happen <laughs> you got a new machine right there i did boom 1100 it's exciting yeah and you, nice. cool right and you're doing a video talking about the the differences I mean, that one has like a, a big old control on it. It's got a carousel, all that. Uh, this is the one that we've been using and uh, it's awesome also. And uh, the machines you can put in your garage. Awesome, yeah. right? That's awesome, yeah. Boom, so let's go over here. We're gonna keep going bigger. We're gonna, and, and then we're gonna end on a huge note, huge. So stick with us, all right? As I walk over here, like, don't mind the mess. Like, I'm, I'm proud. We got a mess going on because we got, we're opening boxes, we're bringing things in, moving things, boom. That's what we got to do in manufacturing, and it's exciting. Uh, we're going to walk over to that robo drill right over there. But uh, before I get over there, let me just say, if you guys love the content, if you love education, uh, love this trade, you want to bring awareness to it, you want to just take your skills to the highest level and just learn about it, learn about manufacturing worldwide, then please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, share the videos. We're gonna do it together in community, make it happen. All right, all right. Oh, uh, there's uh, the Maestro, Mr. Toyo Maestar. Definitely stepping up our inspection, all that. But uh, check it out. Ah, oh, what's up, Dean? How you doing? Good. How you doing? So I, I can't. We we got we got we got COVID things going on, and we uh, a lot of guys have masks, but like just to be on camera right now, we just yeah. put them down just to have a talk. Yeah. But uh, Dean just flew in from Chicago. Absolutely, yeah. Making it happen. Yeah, I love it, so, but you came from manufacturing. I uh, used to like manufacture, build these machines and everything, right? Yeah. And now you're dedicated for FANAC for education. For education, yeah. Working with the high schools and colleges now. Working with the high schools and colleges. Yeah. Like in the U.S., just in the U.S., how many schools are you guys working with right now? We're currently working with just over a thousand schools right now. A thousand schools. FANUC is working with bringing education, robots, automations, and machines, and all of it to all these schools, making a difference. And that's why I love these guys. You see Jacob over here? You guys know Jacob? Hey, Doing up? a lot of parts. Uh, Jacob started in uh, Dan Frank's class down the street at Rockland High School doing the Titans of CNC Academy and now he teaches curriculum on the platform and he's actually programming robots. So we're actually doing just some cool things with automation with robots with the, the five axis on there making it all happen. Machines are like coming alive, right? Uh, we're making it happen today. We're going to get it going. I'm excited. Get it going. And we got to get the, we get in the robot. We're bolting it to the floor, putting a cage around it, and then we're gonna be teaching all about how to actually make parts start to finish, how to do all the fixturing, how to actually, from grippers and the robot to the shunk vices and the relationship and how to do all of it. So if you guys wonder how all that's done, we're gonna do it together. It's all free education. We're gonna have some fun, all right? I'll see you guys later. We're gonna get back to it. <laughs> all right, boom, all right. So now we're coming over here. Again, I can't show you what's going on over here, but in a future video, you will see. So, just status report, status report. Remember, we're gonna end it on a big note. We're gonna end it on a big note. So, right here we got Edge Technologies. We got the bar feeder. We got the Puma, the 2600 SY version two. This thing is a beast. We put out a video on it today and the video is uh, just showing you like what the technology is, what the differences are, what are we doing with it. You know, so bar feeding, we're gonna be making aerospace parts, general engineering parts and uh, getting after it. So 
it's set up, it's running, it's powered. We have air now and uh, getting after it. So let me actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk a little bit down here. Right there. Oh, look at that high pressure coolant. Ah, chip blaster is in the house. Look at that, look at that. Beast. That's, we're gonna put the shoving after drills going right through titanium, right through ink and L, just you know what I mean? Get it. Cool. Turret has 24 tool changers. We're changing out like the, the chucks, dual chucks, box ways. The parts just drop in here, drop out there. Crazy automation. Boom. I got LNS over here. What's up, brother? How's it going? So good. You know, we're on camera, so what's awesome is these guys were over here and they were putting these guys to actually bring out the mist, the mist collectors, right? I'm, I'm fumbling on camera, but it's all good. And we were putting it on top of the machine, but then we just decided to actually take these guys and put it on, on the back of the, like piggyback on the high pressure unit, which is off the machine. And uh, you're just killing it, making it happen, right? And you don't have that noise right there. We can have our cameras on. The machine is us standing there having the, the they're quiet, right? But it's like, you know what I mean? Now it's behind the, now it's behind it, right? I've seen some of them are loud. This one's not, but at the same time, behind the machine makes perfect sense. Well, it's cool. I'll show you where it goes. I'll show you where it goes. So it's actually going to like sit right here. All this is gonna be gone, of course, but it's gonna basically piggyback right here. And this unit is in the back. So thank you. You're welcome. Ah, ah. That's the beast you saw, the mix. High pressure coolant, testing it, making it happen. What's up, Larry? Hey, what's happening here? Dude. How's it going? Good. One of the things I love about this trade is uh, guys who've been in the trade for a long time. So you've been in it for a while. I've been, you've been in it since about 71. 71, 71. making it happen. It makes me very old, yes. Yeah. Making it happen, yeah, but it's, this is great, this is great stuff. Yeah, great stuff. Great. You know You know what's funny, what's, what's awesome is we actually were out at dinner, we were with Graham from Ellison and Brad and those guys these guys are talking so much smack it, but that's the trade we're like we're one big family like killing it at work manufacturing like competing helping the customers helping the students like lifting up the trade like you just got to be excited right absolutely absolutely the thing that i've learned while i've been here the last couple of weeks is called these machines it's two words crazy and boom crazy and boom, boom. he's getting the lingo that's down right. He's getting the lingo down. Yeah. Bro. All right. That's it. We give the. You see, I he, he's got he's got his protection and stuff. I said like let's just take it down just to do this video real quick. But we we take COVID very serious. But uh, Larry, yes, sir. crazy machines, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. crazy. Can you uh can you walk over there now that we have movement? Yeah, sure. Cool. And that's Brandon, he's gonna run away, but look at him, we just celebrate. That's my boy right there, Brandon, what's up? So, oh man, remember this guy, remember this big old mill turn. Oh, look at that mill turn. And, we, and, and, and now we got movement in it, we got movement. Now it's just going through a cycle right there. Everything was closed, I just wanted you guys to see that. It, all the spindles are just moving. Larry, this is an amazing machine, right? Oh, it's freaking amazing. I mean, this is, this is what you call a done in one. You put one part in here, it's over. Yeah, you can do milling, turning, you can do stuff here that you've never been able to yeah. do before. Oh, this thing's like moving. Oh, look, look, at, look at up there, look up there. So that spindle actually comes out, goes up, goes sideways. It's got what, 35 horsepower right 35 there? 35 there. Tilt at 120, 120. Oh, it looks so sick. But you know what is, you know what is awesome? You can take big rocket parts and you can put it on this machine, right? Biggest companies in the world making huge rocket parts out of titanium, ink and steel, all of it on this machine. We brought this machine 
because our students, our trade deserve great education. So in partnership with Allison, with Doosan, with Canameto and all of our partnerships, we're taking education to the highest level because if you're gonna compete as a country, you have to take education serious. We need to get on the right machines. We need to perfect the art, not just in aluminum, but in steel, in titanium, in all of it. Every single feed rate, every tool path, let's master all of it. And let's, let's show something dynamic, right? We're making rockets, we're making autonomous cars. Let's like show our kids, like manufacturing is a place to be. You can make good money because of what's in that head, right? Absolutely. You'll make more money here than going to school for four years. That's it. That's it. Manufacturing. Absolutely. Let's bring awareness. It's coming back. Let's talk to the teachers. Yeah. Yep. Let's talk to the teachers. Let's talk to the counselors. Let's talk to the parents, people in the malls, and let them know that we can make things in our own backyards. We can put food on our tables. And if you live in Brazil or you live in Australia or Japan, you deserve to make your own parts and compete. Let's compete. Competition is good. It's what it's like what makes the blood flow, right? Let's make stuff, man. Let's, Let's make, make stuff. stuff. We well, can make it right here. I always tell people, if, if if you don't have CNC machining and mold and all that, you're like you're like butt naked in the woods. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's the truth though, because everything gets molded, everything gets machined, everything gets manufactured in some way and manufacturing is serious we need to get everybody serious about it yeah stop playing around with those computer screens let's make some real stuff real exactly solid stuff. exactly but the kids playing around with the computer screens let's actually get them on these computer screens now because they grew up on technology let's make it happen anyway all right thank you for all okay. you do you are the right. man thank you thank larry been in the trade forever love talking to these guys as, as you can see all right love you guys I'll see you guys later. We love this trade, and that is why we are serving it and doing what we do. Boom.